Thank you, Yvette. Um, everybody hear me? Yeah? Good. Um, I, I want to say, uh, well, first off, I'd like to do something a little impromptu. We, uh, to, to sort of kick this event off, um, I want to acknowledge um, the contribution we just received from uh, Marvin Wiener standing here. Um, he, he, is, he has snapped up one of the spring training packages, jumped right on it, and contributed um, $15,000 um, to send... Um, yeah. Send, I think, um, son and grandson, maybe you said, Marvin, to, the, uh, uh, to spring training. And I said, I said, well, we'd be glad to have him join, so the more the merrier, so we could put three people in, um, um, which, would, uh, which would only be right. I think uh, it's that kind of leadership. As much as um, uh, SunTrust uh, and the Orioles bring to it, we need everybody here. Um, everybody can make. Who knows me? I'm just going to say one thing. I don't know if you'll mind, but Mr. Wiener did this in honor of Scott and Susan Wilfong and their family. So we thank you and we thank you all. Oh, yeah. um, and is that, okay. The, um, I, w I wanted to, it's that kind of leadership. We do need everybody. It is a group effort. And the Orioles are honored to partner with SunTrust to, to further the message and to elevate um, as, as Yvette mentioned, the platform that we have uh, with the presence of everybody here. Um, everybody can make a difference um, in, tell, in sort of, you know, every contribution, however small, makes a difference, I think, in the end. Um, uh, just quickly, she, she also mentioned Calvin Butler's here. We had the pleasure of uh, being at the Heart Walk with Calvin. He, amazing job, a tremendous amount of funds raised. Um, and I, I think I want your tie, Calvin. I think you get, I should be wearing that tie. Yeah, yeah. He's got the Oriole tie on, so um, looking sharp as always. I, I think, um, no, he did an amazing job. We had the, the, the pleasure of being out there with him at Hillendale um, last week or so, and uh, um, it's that kind of event, that kind of community contribution, um, and all the events the AHA makes happen that we are you know, privileged and, and honored to support. Um, last year, or two years ago, we, we sponsored a segment at the Heart Ball. Uh, last year, we became the chair, um, and, and, and now SunTrust is picking that up uh, as the chair this year, um, and it's from their leadership uh, that they said back to us, why don't, you, why don't you stay in and stay with us and sort of, uh, you know, do it together. And again, great idea, and we're only too privileged to do it. Um, <clears throat> I think Scott may have mentioned uh, that last year that, you know, next year you guys are going to win the division, you're going to carry to the playoffs, and he was, uh, he couldn't have been more on the money. Um, so, uh, um, yeah. Uh, he does. He has the crystal ball on that. Um, the, uh, so um, I just want to say a quick thing. I, I've said this before, but it, it bears repeating. And it, um, regarding our players, um, uh, we changed our eating habits in our clubhouse just last year. Uh, comprehensive change. And, and it's an instructive message because um, every player that we would have thought would have been a, you know, slow to adopt or, or wouldn't adopt those guys were some of the guys that amazingly adopted uh, quicker than you know some of the other guys that were already kind of you know maybe had better eating habits or had a you know broader view of, of of what good nutrition and healthy diet is. So again, it can make a difference in people's lives to continue to repeat those messages. Um, uh, uh, Adam Jones, Nick Markakis, and J.J. Hardy are the guys I'm talking about. Um, those guys could tell you firsthand like the the radical difference that's made. Um, in, in their lives and their families' lives because they've got their families doing it across the board. Um, Buck Showalter said to me last night in the midst of the celebration, um, and he actually said it before the game too, he said, no question it's made a difference ac across the board in our organization. It's not just the major league team. We have guys maintaining weights. We have guys that are, that are, more, that are healthier um, and, and able to do more and speaking that message that it, that it truly makes a difference. I'll, I'll say it in a different way, just sort of a little bit off message maybe what we typically hear. Smoking is a given. I mean, you see people smoking, you got to tell them, you know, you got to stop. You got to do whatever you can to stop uh, for your family, for yourself. Another message, you know, alcohol in moderation. We, and it's got, you know, for young people especially. Um, now, that's complete hypocrisy on my part, I know as well, you know. <laughs> well, when I was growing up, n nobody was necessarily spreading that message, okay? And I probably wouldn't have listened, but... Um, but, uh, but it's, it's kind of like the smoking thing. If, if, you, if you get behind it, and institutions, not just hospitals and healthcare organizations, but at, you know, sports teams, um, and, and um, any company within that company can say, let's get behind this and let's do it. 
and that'll make, it does make a difference. Um, so thank you all for, for being here, for being a part of it. Uh, we're so glad to have you join us, and um, I'll turn it over to Sam. Uh, I can't, can't get enough credit to SunTrust for, again, for stepping up and leading this. Um, and Sam and Scott have been amazing. We had a couple ELT meetings, um, and uh, they've, we've already have gotten that momentum, and this, that's evidence of this tonight. So thank you so much.